Hello everyone, I'm Tilly Douglas from Visual Sense Crafts and I wanted to do a little test with you today because this is for me as much as it is for you really because I've been doing the um, Shelley Art Bloom Techniques I took a course and it's a fantastic course um, and you get the beautiful blooms um, it's all over YouTube at the moment so if you haven't seen it go and take a look at some of the fantastic um, blooms that people are creating and I do want to actually say about some of the uh, other pouring artists that I've been watching because there's some fantastic pouring artists out there and one of them is Tammy Anderson she does some amazing blooms not just blooms but all sorts of paint pouring techniques um, and there's Julie Cutts and her YouTube channel is Pouring Your Heart Out and she's she's just brilliant and Erica Hughes and Canella Siraco I hope I've so, so, said that name correctly um, but they are all fantastic artists and they've been getting some really good results so I've taken the course the Shelley Art course and if you want to take the course it's 99 Australian dollars now that works out because I'm in the UK um, and that works out around about 50 51 pounds so well worth taking and along with the course you can also get access to the Facebook group that goes along with it you can only join the group if you if you bought the course it's well worth buying the course purely just to get access to that group because there's some amazing artists in there and you get some fantastic tips where everybody helps each other and it's a real little community in there but the course itself is amazing and I learned so much from it I'm still um, trying to master the technique I'm, I get some good results but I know I could get better but it really is a lovely lovely course to do um, and well well worth it I'll put the link to uh, the Shelley Art course, it's Shelley Carruthers, She's, I'll put the link to her course in the information below and I've asked her for a coupon code for you so I'm hoping that I'll soon come, she'll soon give me this coupon code because I've only just asked for it and, and she's going to get back to me. So keep watching because as soon as I get you a code I'm going to put it in the comments below so we'll get you a nice 15% off because we all like to save a bit of money. So round about £50 um, UK sterling, um, 99 Australian dollars and it's well, well worth it. So if it's about £50, £51, you'll get 15% off that once I get the code for it. So what I wanted to do today is I wanted to do a test because... Uh, People are getting really, really good results with the Aussie Flood Flow Troll. And this is it. It's got to be the Flood Flow Troll. Um, I bought the EU Flow Troll and it, it just, you don't get the same results. So I bought this off eBay and it was um, 24 99 Australian, because it came from Australia. It's 24 99 Australian dollars. To buy it plus 19.99 australian dollars for shipping which is 44 dollars 98 and i know because i've got it all written down here which worked out at 24 pound 53 it's only a 500 ml bottle you can get it cheaper works out cheaper if you buy a larger amount if you buy a liter or you can get uh, three one liter bottles that works out about £88, but I wanted to test it out. I've not tried it yet, so I'm going to test it here with you today. So you need it in the cell activator. So if you know about the Shelley Art Blooms, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But if not, I'll show you as I go along. Um, what I've been doing is mixing this titanium Amsterdam titanium white with just water and have got some good results from it but I wanted to get the flood flow troll to see if I can get some better results and so I can compare the two so that's what we're doing today we're doing a little test and I've already mixed my paints so this one 
is the one with the, the flood flow prod in it. And all I've done is mix that Amsterdam titanium white with the flood flow prod to a little. So as you pour it in, it just forms a little heap and then disappears. Now this is all it's got in it. It's just the titanium white and the flood flow prod. So that's that one. And this one is the titanium white with just water. So same consistency. So it just, as you pour it off, it just makes a little puddle and then disappears into the paint. So this is the two that I've done for my testing today. And my paints I've already pre-mixed and put in these bottles. Now, I do have to thank Julie Cuts from Pouring Your Heart Out because she used these bottles and I thought it was a fantastic idea. And actually, these only came today as well. So I've mixed my paints, poured them in here. So this is a test for me as well on how these work. And they're the perfect size for doing these because you don't actually use a lot of paint. So that's those mixed. And those colours are uh, the Pebio Iridescent Precious Gold and Arteza Thalo Blue. Um, I absolutely love the Arteza paints. I've used, I use them a lot. I bought a lot of them when they had them on offer on Prime, Amazon Prime Day, and also the sales over Christmas New Year time. I bought a lot of them and I, I really do like them. They've got the fantastic pigment in them. So, we're just going to do it on some tiles today. And a little tip, I've got a really, really good tip because if you're doing um, these paint pours on tiles, you know how difficult it is to hold on to the tile and you smudge up your edges. And I've put this tape on the back and it's just, it's some duct tape or um, gaffer tape, whatever you want to call it, but it's nice and strong and it sticks well. So I've just folded it over. So I've got a nice little secure handle to hold on to so as I'm pouring tipping it off I can hold on to that and that really is quite nicely secure it will come off when I want it to but it's perfect I've never had any problems with it so really really good for holding on to your tile as you're pouring as you're tipping them off so let's see where we're going to start my paints my colors are mixed with um, let me show you what I have it in. I have it in, in this bottle. And it's uh, the Valspar V700 Base C, which is the paint. And it's this for, um, it's the wood and metal paint. But it's the one that you get from behind the counter from B&Q, um, where they put the colour in it for you. So it's not, it hasn't got any colour tint in it, which is perfect for this. Well, for a lot of pouring meetings, really, I use it. Don't just use it for this technique. I use it for a lot of them. Um, so I mix it with that and a polyurethane varnish. So something like Minwax is a really good one to use. Uh, polyurethane and it's water-based. As long as it's water-based, polyurethane, it should be okay. And then mix that three to one. So three parts Valspar base paint and one part polyurethane varnish so I mixed the paints just so it's a little all I've got in there is is that pouring medium and the paint so I mixed it so it's a little bit thicker than these white cell activator ones because this goes on the top and it, I've got it so it's a the colors are a wee bit thicker than that and then the other paint that we use is our pillow paint and all this is is Valspar walls and ceiling silk emulsion and you really have to give it a good mix you have a big wide stick and, and give it a really good mix because you you don't want bubbles in it but you do need to get it mixed really really well so it all binds together nicely and then I've poured it into here so this is what's going to go down first, and this is a little bit thicker than the colours paint. And then that is thinner still. So the thickest one goes on the bottom, 
and then these colours on the top and then that one on the top of the colours. So we'll get started and I'm going to do a tile with using the water and Amsterdam paint first because this is what I have been using. So I'm going to do that and the first thing I do is to put down our pillow paint or base paint. So we're going to put a big puddle of that on our tile first. I must say this, um, this in particular, the Shelley Art style, is very addictive and it's very frustrating because it does take quite a bit of practice to get it right and the blowing part of it is a big part of it. You've got to get the blow right is what we all keep saying. But paint pouring is so addictive. I'm just, I absolutely love it. I've been doing it for a good while now and I absolutely love it. I think when I do my next one, I'll take that nozzle off there and pull it straight out the top because that takes too long. So we put the, the pillow paint down. Oh, now here's where I'm testing out my new bottles for the first time. So let me just give that a, a little shake. I have mixed them already and stirred them up and then put them in here. So we're going to put this blue down, the thalo blue. Don't knock it over, that's not what you want to do. Oh, I've knocked them over so many times. As I'm sure you will if uh, you start doing it, or if you already do this. With the, you absolutely get covered in paint doing these paint pours. Well, I do anyway. And then we put the gold on top. And then our cell activator on the top of that. And remember, this is the one that I have been using. And it's, because you can put um, the Liquitex inks in it as well to, to give it a bit of a deeper color. But I just wanted to test it without anything else in it, just the paint and water. So we put that on top. If you're doing paint pours, or if you, you want to start doing paint pours, it can get quite an expensive hobby. So really watch videos first and learn from other people's experience because you don't want to be going out and spending a fortune and then realise you don't actually need it or you've bought the wrong thing. So really, you can do it a lot cheaper. You don't have to go out and buy everything all in one go. So, we've got that on there. I'm just going to put the cup to one side. Hold on to the base, that bit of tape that I've got on the bottom. Now, this is the part where... It's all in the blow, is what they say. And you've got to really master this. You blow down and out. So sorry if I get my head in the way or if I have to take it off camera, but I'm just going to blow this. I don't think that was a particularly good blow. What I'm going to do is get a, I'm going to get a straw. Oh, I've got trouble with straws. <clears throat> I found my straws. <laughs> now I'm going to just blow that out a little bit more.
So I have got some lace in there, but not a great deal, I have to say. Now I know some people get some fantastic results with just the titanium white and water and they have their own techniques and they have had some really, really good results. I must say I've had good results, but it's very, very hit and miss for me. So I'm quite excited to try this flood flow troll. So now we've blown that out, we have to wait for it because we've blown it down. We have to wait for that to lift back up so it's not sticking to the tile. So I'm going to put that to one side and then we're going to do, while that's rising, we're going to do the flood flow trial one. So I'll just wipe the hands. I usually end up with this all over me. I've got my hair tied back, but even when I get my hair tied back, I've got my headband on and everything, but I usually end up with it sticking my chin or something in it. Because I get in a right old mess with it. So what I'm going to do is take the, the lid off this time of my bottle and then just pour it straight on from there a lot a lot quicker so you want a good goodly amount of the pillow paint on because don't forget this is just the emulsion paint and it's the B and Q one which is the um Valspar but I've also heard that Home base do a good one, their own brand paint as well. We haven't got, I'm, I'm in Lincoln in the UK, well, I live near Lincoln, and our B &Q, uh, home base of sadly closed down. So I haven't got a B&Q close by. So, but when I do find one, when I go out somewhere, I'll, uh, I'll get their home base own brand. So that's our blue on there. So obviously this is just um, one way to do these. So many people have their own ways and different types of mixes and um, this is just how I've been doing them. I put our gold on. I go around in a circle because you don't want to plonk it all in the middle because you don't want it all sinking. So if I find if I go around in a circle like that, it makes it um, not so deep in the middle. So remember this one is our titanium white, Amsterdam titanium white and flood flow troll. So we're going to put a little dollop of that on the top. I don't want too much of this on, not as much as the coloured paint, you just want a little spot on the top like that. So now we're going to blow it out, so I can hold on to that tape underneath which does make it a lot lot easier and we're going to blow down and out. Well, the flood flow troll is definitely moving easier. That's looking really quite nice. So I'm just going to blow, just going to pop that little bubble. Um, I'm just going to blow out with the straw a little bit. Don't want to overblow it. And then we have to let that sit so that rises back up from the center there because we've blown down into the center. But there's some quite nice lacing on there already. So. So far, I'm really quite impressed with the flood flow troll. 
So that's the flood flow troll one. This is before I start stretching it out. And this one looks not brilliant, it looks quite poor. That's the one with the water, titanium white and water. So now this one we can start tilting. So I can put my cup out of the way and we'll start tilting this. Now what I like to do with this is just put a bit of the paint back on these corners because it helps it all to move a lot easier because it's it's quite a slow when you start tipping them it's quite a slow moving paint especially when you start tipping off the fourth corner so that that's that so now we can start tipping now i like to just move it backwards and forwards to get it moving a bit first just to make sure it's all nice and loose I've got to say it's not looking brilliant this one and like I said it's very very hit and miss with this um, titanium white and water it's very hit and miss sometimes I've had some decent results not brilliant but okay but I do know other people have had good result results without the flood flow troll because the American flow troll is not the same as the Aussie flow trail, flow trail, the Australian one, and neither is the EU one. So I bought, I did buy it off eBay. So I will be buying some more by the looks of those cells on there. It is looking really rather nice. And this is where it gets a little bit slow. It really is a patience game waiting for these because you can't rush it. You just have to let it do its thing and pour off those sides. Now, just put that on to drag it down a little bit more. It does help it a bit. But there's not a lot you can do. You just have to sit and wait. So I really would um, recommend that you go and check out some of those other YouTubers that have got some really lovely videos out that I've been watching, um, all the ones I've mentioned, Tammy Anson, um, Julie Cutts from Pouring Your Heart Out, Erica Hughes, there's, there's some fantastic artists out there so do go and have a look at theirs and subscribe to the channels and I'm sure it, you'll get as addicted as I am. Oh, also, please subscribe to my channel as well if you like this video and uh, click the little bell notification so you'll get notified when I bring out more videos because I do feel a bit silly sat here talking to myself and it would be nice to know that there are actually people listening to me. <laughs> I hope there are, otherwise I am a bit silly really. And also underneath my video I'll have um, links to my Facebook page and my Instagram so feel free to check me out on there as well that really is moving slowly so I think I might call that it for that one I mean you can it will drag right down it, it is moving it's just very very slow but I'm not entirely happy with it anyway see there is some lacing on there but it's not like I said I would have been over the moon when I started doing this I would have been so happy with the lacing that I'd got on there but I have had I have since done some a lot better ones than that so that's the titanium white and water. Just give my hands a wipe. But this one on here with the um, flood flow troll is looking a lot, lot better. So that's how it's looking at the moment. So quite 
nice lacing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just squeeze a little bit of this pillow paint on those corners just to help it move. And then start stretching it out. So I like to go backwards and forwards a bit first just to get it moving. Make sure it's all nice and flowy. Then starting the stretch. You can definitely see some better results on this one. This one's looking really quite nice. I'll take it down to that corner. If you don't want it all to run off, you can put your finger there to save some of that lacing. And then back to the centre. And off that second corner. See how it's stretching now. To the first two corners it runs off a lot quicker and then back to the center and then off that corner there can you can you actually see it moving it is it is moving but it is just very, very slow. So it is a game of patience. But when you're pouring off the corners, you do have to watch other parts of it as well, so you don't, so you're not losing all your lovely lacing. Then we'll go back to that. So that's about there. So I think that looks really rather lovely. What do you think? Do you think it was worth getting the flood flow the Aussie flood flow troll? So let me see if I can get picked two up together. So there they are side by side. The water one and the Aussie Flood flow troll. Well, that one's a bit rubbish, isn't it, really? That one, I think, is beautiful. So, there's my little test completed. I'm going to carry on and do... I shall scrape this one off, because we don't waste the tiles. I shall scrape that one off, and I shall do another three with the Flood flow troll. So I'll be putting those up at the end of this video so you can see a full set and see how I get on. So that's that and please subscribe to my channel and let me know what you think, whether you think it's worth buying this flood flow troll and if you've bought some and what results you've had. I'd be really interested to know what results you've had if you've found it better or um, no difference at all. So hopefully I'll see you in the next video. I'll leave some pictures after this video ends and then I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.